Allô, Libby. Bonjour, Belle. Hello, Lily, official. Hello, India. Um, Sophia says, the hair. Hair's on point. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm getting it cut tomorrow, though. Um, Robbie, we've missed you. Miss you too, Robbie. in the kitchen, if we are, it's where I belong. Thank you, Erica. Silver, Sylvan Jali says, hey Wolverine, cool hair. Thank you, I'll take that as a compliment. Um, I guess who's back, Zach? Who's back? Oh, got it. Goddess is here! She's alive! Woo! Nice! Welcome back, Goddess. We missed you. Um, so, hope everyone's feeling good. Those are unfortunately sideburns. I need to get rid of them. Uh, Lily says, I missed your forehead wrinkles. Yep, there they are. There they are. How has your sleeping been, says Ella. Been good. Yesterday, I slept for a good 10 hours. 00110010.0011011 asks, what was your worst date? Uh, worst date? I don't know if it was a worst date for me, but I think it was pretty bad for her. She, um, but it was kind of cool. She, she arrived like 45 minutes late for the, for the date, which I don't really care about. But um, for some reason, I was really tired that day. So I think we, we went to some, I think we went to Westfield. I was about 16 and um, I ended up taking a nap on the date. Just, uh, yeah, there was like a, one of those like flight simulator things in one of the shops and for some reason we uh, decided to go in there and yeah, I ended up just taking a nap and she was just like, what the fuck am I, what, what am I supposed to do here? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that's probably my worst date. I mean, I've probably had way worse ones, but that's the one I'm going to talk about anyway. Um, cool, so we've got two songs for you today. One is one is one is uh, talk by Khalid, and uh, the other one is one dance by Drake. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, I I did one dance at pretty much every single every single show that I did, like maybe three years ago or so. And whenever like uh, I remember this one time, I asked the audience, I was like, so what, what kind of cover, what cover do you want me to do? And like, whatever anyone shout out, I'd be like, One Dance by Drake. And they'd be like, yeah. And then I ended up singing that, just because that was the only cover I knew at the time. Um, so yeah, let, let's get into to talk first. Mm. Can we just talk? Can we just talk? Talk about where we're going before we get lost. Let me your thoughts can get what we want without knowing. I never felt like this before. I apologize if I'm moving too far. Can we just talk? Can we just talk? Figure out where we're going. Yeah, started off the night. I can see it in your eyes. I can tell that you've been wanting more. What's been on your mind? There's no reason we should hide. Tell me something I ain't heard before. Cause I've been dreaming about it, and it's you I'm on. So stop thinking about it. 
Can we just talk? Can we just talk? Talk about where we're going before we get lost. Let me your thoughts. Can't get what we want without knowing. I never felt like this before. I apologize if I'm moving too far. Can we just talk? Can we just talk? Figure out where we're going. Oh. Penthouse view, let some flowers in the room. I make sure I leave the door unlocked. Now I'm on the way. I swear I won't be late. I'll be there by five o'clock. You've been dreaming about it, and I'm what you want. So stop thinking about it. Can we just talk? Can we just talk? Talk about where we're going before we get lost. Let me your thoughts. Can get what we want without knowing. I never felt like this before. I apologize if I'm moving too far. Can we just talk? Can we just talk? Figure out where we're going. I had a hair in my mouth the whole time, which is why, one sec, I need to go rid of this. That's why I'm getting a haircut tomorrow, because that was very much in my mouth. It could still be in my mouth. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. I'm getting there. Okay. Guys, the hair is out my mouth. This is, this is a really, really good sign. Thank you for bearing with me there. Um, Anna says, hey Zach, can we just talk today, please? Because the reference, Anna, you can talk. We can talk. We'll get you on. Uh, okay, now we're gonna do, we're gonna do, what's it called? Drake, one dance. Sam says, your skin's glowing, Zach. Did you Nivea today? Thank you very much. No, I didn't. I think uh, I just slept well. And that will do it. Uh, how's this one go? Taking a hold on me, taking a hold on me. 
Staking a hole And that's why I need a one dance There it is That was not the ending that I thought I was going to go with But that's the ending that we went with um, So yeah, how's it going guys? What's, what's been new in your lives? Uh, what's, what's been going on? I'm going to read some, some things. Uh, Josie says, I was unprepared. Uh, Aman Savant says, this song gets back memories. Yeah, it's a bit of a throwback. It's a big tune at the time. Huge tune. Probably the biggest tune in the world at the time. Uh, Karina, thank you. Marcelo, thank you. Uh, Danny says, same words, whole new meaning. Yeah, I suppose it's like... Uh, uh, guys! Oh, they're in their room. It is a bit weird when you have same like the same word but means something completely different and my mind has gone completely blank i was going to start listing a load of words which are pronounced exactly the same but mean completely different things like you can't now fridge like for example fridge it just means one thing i mean <laughs> that's the worst example you could possibly give um i'm sure you guys can think of one Four, for example, sounds the same, but it could mean a number four. Or what is that four, basically, is, is what I think uh, you're trying to say, Danny. Same words, whole new meaning. Uh, Toot Angel says, I need to sleep. Good name. You look so young, what the heck? Yeah, I think it's this, uh, this hairstyle. Normally I got my hair forward. Nadia cuts her own bangs. Well done, Nadia. Proud of you. Uh, hello, Carolina. Carolina. Um, Edwin says, I'm getting surgery on the 7th of the 10th. Good luck for the surgery. Uh, I don't know what it's for, but I hope it goes well. Uh, Nana David, hello. Congrats, Sophia, says Goddess. Uh, Tassia says, I want a concert exclusive for the Zach Pack one day. That's basically just a concert. Because everyone there is part of the Zach Pack. So, yeah. When, uh, when we're ready to do concerts again, then you can have that. It's yours. Uh, A. Hun says, let the hair stay. There's not a chance in hell that this hair is staying. I'm chopping it all off tomorrow. You'll appreciate it, trust me. Um, <laughs> Gab says we want Sarah Guys thank you very very much for following her uh, Just from my perspective I had a, a truly amazing sandwich It was It was lovely Yeah for some context uh, I made a bet with her Where she was I was like how many followers do you think you'll get from this And she was like I don't know maybe like 25 I was like okay I reckon you'll get 150 From this And then she was like Okay should we should make a bet and so we decided to just do something which neither of us wanted to do for each other, like make each other a sandwich. Um, and so I'm, I'm aware that there, there could be some, uh, some sexist undertones in, in asking a woman to make you a sandwich, but that was not the case at all. It was just that we needed something which uh, neither of us wanted to do, and it ended up being make me a sandwich. So if she got less than 150, I would have had to have made her a sandwich. Um, just for some context. Alexia, I'm not ignoring you. I see you, I see you, you're good. Uh, speak Spanish says 0011 I don't speak any Spanish, so no. But you can speak Spanish. Uh, Belle says you should make her a sandwich too. I, but I won the bet, so I don't need to. But if you wanna make her a sandwich, you can. Um, in fact, if anyone wants to make Sarah a sandwich, they can. That is the beauty of life and free will. Um, 
Did you just woke up? Your hairs look like after meeting with lightning. <laughs> Thanks, Klelkiar. I appreciate that comment. Um, Cassie says, I still want Sarah to make me a sandwich. You never know. You never know. Uh, that sandwich looked lush, says Hannah. Interesting spelling of sandwich. Um, it was really lovely. It was it was from uh, Epi Vegan's cookbook, which is probably why. And also, Sarah is a very good cook. So, yeah, I mean, it would uh, that makes sense. DJ Red Productions says I'm being ignored. Uh, I didn't see anything you wrote up until now, so uh, sorry if you feel like you're being ignored. Uh, I'm not doing it on purpose. Uh, Snowy says, I want to make Sarah pasta. Again, feel free. Uh, Mohammed Merck says, get JP Cooper, please. Is he, is he on this thing? I don't know if he is. No, I don't think he is. Um, all right, should we get some, some people on? Okay, John See if John Allen wants to come on. One second. Hi. Hey. How's it going? Good, you? I'm doing good. I you look very, very familiar. Yeah, it's probably been about a decade. Dude. Oh shit, I just realized who you are. So probably correct, So correct me if, if I'm wrong, but when I first started uploading YouTube videos, you were one of one of the only people who actually like really big me up and, and like did a like a review thing of my videos. Yeah. That's so crazy, man. If you look up the uh, Zach Zaznek, mm -hmm. my video still pops up. No way. All right, we need to check this out. Dude, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Um, that's so cool. I really appreciate you doing that for me back then. And um, it's so cool that you kind of carried on looking at my music and just, yeah, thank you. There's actually a funny story to that one. Yeah, I so haven't heard anything about you in years. And then I was at work listening to music and you popped up on Recommended. Uh, and I'm like, I know that guy. Really. I'm going to try and find this video. Okay. Ah! <laughs> okay. Um, we need to find this. Hey, Alliance members, welcome back to another Feature Friday. <laughs> yes! I promised have some exciting new videos coming soon. I've got them in the works, and I've got people. 2011. So they haven't arrived yet, so. But so about a decade. That's so cool, man. One sec. Where's, where was the video? Um, is it? Did, did you feature some, like, a, a, a video of me singing as well? I think so, but I don't really remember. It's like I said, it's been a decade, man. It has know. been a decade. That's fair enough. Um, either way, that's so cool. Yeah. So, how did you find me again? Yeah, it was literally just a YouTube recommendation. I don't even use that YouTube anymore. I don't even know how to get into it. Ah, oh, damn. So, was it a bit weird when you heard my music again, like? as Zach Abel instead of Zach Zalesnik. Yeah, so it was funny because I it popped up and I'm just like, I know that guy. And then I remembered your actual, or your whatever you want to go with. That uh, was and my I Googled actual, it. Yeah, Zach Zalesnik. And, and uh, so I Googled and it's just like, oh, he just goes by a different name now. Damn. And <laughs> I subscribed to you, obviously. But, um, oh, but now my work playlist is like everything you, because <laughs> I was actually looking it all up. <laughs> Damn, that's so cool. It's so weird how like things come back around, and yeah. you know, yeah, I really appreciate you um, 
posting about me when he did. How's life for you right now? Where, where are you in the world? Uh, still in the States. Well, mm -hmm. I don't remember if I was in the States when the last time we talked. But <laughs> in the States. Um, but where yeah, everything's pretty good. Uh, in Ohio. Ohio, okay. Nice. And uh, what are you doing day to day? What's, what's, the, what's the job? Uh, what's the, writing the plan? What's the, what's the vibe? Uh, writing mostly. The, uh, I was on a, a book tour that has been canceled for the year for obvious reasons. Yeah, that makes sense. Are, are you a writer? Yes, I, uh, I do not have a book with me right now, <laughs> regrettably. Um, but I've got a kid's book out there. Every, every book sold actually plants a tree. Wow. Okay. Well, and I actually have my little seed packs. So every time someone buys a book from my website, uh, in the U.S. only, because there's rules about sending trees internationally for some reason. Uh, right, yeah, like environmental <laughs> rules. Get one of these. It's a seed pack. Hey. And you can plant your own tree at home. That's so cool. What's, um, so is, is your, so your name's John Allen? Yes. Okay. John Allen Books. Let's do it. Um, Let's see how we do this. I don't know about that. Ah, there are, there's also another John Allen. Ha, uh, sorry. John. Now, there is a British singer that goes by John Allen as well. Yeah. Uh, so, my website is johnrallen.com because he has johnallen.com. Johnrallen.com. As long as you're spelling John correctly as well. Ah, I think I found a different John Allen, a photographer with <laughs> a barely clothed girl. Uh, so that's definitely <laughs> <laughs> All right, John, a different John R. Allen dot com. So is it J-O-N? Yes, we're there. Okay, so you've got a book called Tripping Through Time. Yeah, it's a time travel adventure to save the environment. Okay, so are you into sci-fi, but also environmental issues? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Does, is that why that's what it's written about? Uh, well, I try to do all my stuff for a cause, you know, to help people out. Mm -hmm. um, so this one obviously helps the environment. Mm -hmm. uh, we have another one coming out that's for LGBT. That'll be, it's getting pushed till next year because of everything. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so this book will actually, Corona did not help its sales, let's say that. Um, but this book will now accompany a second book on tour instead of just being a standalone tour. Okay. Um, well, hopefully that goes well. How, how, how long is, is, is this book, Tripping Through Time? Well, it's a kid's book, so it's only 32 pages. It's only how many pages? 32 pages. 32, okay. It's a picture book, so... Uh, and, and did you did you like illustrate it as well or just the right um, I can't draw stick figures I, I'm so bad at drawing as well yeah my uh my illustrator I sent him what my concepts in stick figure form and he literally responded stick to writing wow <laughs> but he's this a great so illustrator cool. <laughs> this is so cool what what made you want to start like writing and making books well i've always loved writing but the um this one's actually got a little a bit of an interesting story to it okay. so it actually was an award-winning short story i was in hawaii and um there was a writing competition and i just literally wrote it in a day and submitted it wow and i placed that's so cool so people liked the story so it was Convert it to a kid's book, mm -hmm. and that's where we are today. That's awesome. Congratulations. Some, yeah, sometimes like the best ideas like happen really, really quickly. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not huge for writing short stories. I'm more of a novelist. Okay. Um, so, trust me, my editors are just like, you define a short story as 300 pages. Right. <laughs> it's like, hey, that is a short story. That's two books. With you. Um, do you like Dune? Do what? Uh, do you like the book Dune? D-U-N-E. I don't think I've heard of it. 
uh, if you like like sci-fi, um, it's supposedly the best sci-fi book of all time. That's something big to go after. That's, that's a, it's a big a big statement there. Uh, but I yeah, read it and I really really liked it. So um, if you're if you're interested, D U N E Dune. I'm writing it down right now. <laughs> I, think, I think you'd like it. Um, what's the, the the basic kind of like synopsis of tripping through time? All right. Well, literally, it's you've got two main characters. Mm -hmm. One second. If my phone will actually let me write this down. Um, yeah. So you got two main characters. You've got like a wacky kind of scientist guy, uh -huh. and then you have uh, the young girl that's his is his uh, niece. So she's very much like, let's save the environment kind of thing. And he's very much, let's cut down all the forest and put in computers. Ah. So they go to time machine together and the future is actually combined nature and technology and everyone lives in trees. Ah. Okay. That sounds interesting. So it's kind of like the, um, the argument that, uh, well, that you, you had something similar to that is it, is it in Flint in, in the US or, or something there's there was a thing where there was like a pipe uh, uh, well there's more than one pipe you're talking about Flint Michigan Flint Michigan yeah um, where yeah. you know for the sake of uh, economic gain you sacrifice environmental things and yeah so, so obviously it had to come down yeah, the, the Flint situation is, well, it's a situation. Because uh, it's actually still not really fixed. No. They, they don't have drinking um, water still, right? I mean, they do, but I wouldn't drink it. I see. <laughs> I'm with you. You're welcome to, if you would like, but no, I will No, 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 I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, you know how that is? They say it's fixed, but just don't drink it. It's like, yeah, that's that's fixed. Yeah, that sounds really fixed to me. Um, well, it's like if you uh, if you frack on property, you know, fracking. I don't know exactly what it's doing, but it's like getting it's oil from the ground or something like that, right? It's pulling, it's pulling some sort of re uh, resource from the ground, right. but it can actually make the tap water of the house flammable. Oh my goodness! So I've literally watched videos of this. Uh, one of my friends actually had it too, where they said, "Watch this," and they just light the tap water coming out of the tap on fire. And it just sprays on fire. That's horrible. That is I'm very, like, very and horrible. Is it safe to drink? Is it safe to drink water that's flammable? Probably not. Yeah, probably I would not. Um, well, I, I learned something today, so thank you for that. Um, it was genuinely like, really, yeah. really amazing to see your face again after all these years, and um, happy to see you writing and coming up with cool ideas. Um, Hopefully, if I'm ever in Ohio, you can come through for a show. Yeah. I'll put you on the guest list, don't worry. And, uh, you know, bring a friend or two. And, um, yeah, I appreciate all the support, man. And if anyone wants to check out uh, John's Jonathan Allen's book, Tripping Through Time, there is a hardcover, which is available on his website. Um, please check it out. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get myself a copy today. And... Uh, I'm going to check it out. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, if you send me a direct message, I can make sure you get a signed copy. Okay. Um, Thanks, man. Yeah. Internationally, we actually recommend they go to like Amazon or your local bookseller. Okay. Just because shipping is so expensive. That makes sense. Um, yeah. Like when you charge 20 bucks for the book and then shipping ends up being 30, it doesn't go well. No, that would not go well. Mm -hmm. Better be a good book. Yeah. 50, 50 bucks. I mean, I think it's good. Uh, I don't know if it's fifty dollars good. Um, do you have a, a song request for uh, for next week's Insta Live? I think how's somewhere over the rainbow. Hey. Mm -hmm. Which version? There's somewhere over the rainbow. Yeah. The original. The, isn't there like two versions of it? There's like the classic yeah. one, and then there's uh, Somewhere Over the Rainbow by this dude singing it. I think it is a dude that originally sang it. Really? 
Yeah. I'm thinking of The Wizard of Oz. No, that's totally... Why am I thinking of The Wizard of Oz? (laughs) (laughs) By the one by uh, Israel... Israel... If you manage to Israel is... How do you not have the good YouTube, man? (laughs) How do you not have the good YouTube playing ads? Seen this dude? Yeah. Is that the version you mean? Yeah. That's the version you mean? Yeah, so that's the original version. You should actually look that up. I think you'd appreciate it. He was so big in Hawaii that he called the studio at like three in the morning and they recorded it in one set. Oh, wow. I thought the original, but I I swear this is the original. Um, From The Wizard of Oz. Well, you might be right, but that, you honestly sounds more right, but he recorded that in one set. Uh Okay, but you want want his version or do you want The Wizard of Oz version? Yes, I want his version. His version or no version at all. Is that right? Exactly. Okay, nice. okay, I got it. I got it. Um, well, John, it was lovely to, to see you again after all these years. Take care. Good luck with the book. And um, yeah. yeah, thanks for tuning in, man. I wish you all the best. Yeah. Take care. Yeah, I'm reading the comments. They're hilarious. But have a good one. Thanks, man. Bye. Ah, oh, that was so lovely. Um, I promised someone I was going to have them on. I think. It was Libby Green makeup, I think. Hello. Hello. Hi. How's it going? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm doing good, thanks. It, it was you that I we tweeted each other, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. nice. So I've kept the promise. Yes. Um, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Um, I'm good. I'm good. Um, what, what have you been up to today? Not much, really. Um... Just been trying to get like school stuff done for now, and then the office is running over summer. Okay, what's that? Uh, uh, what over summer? So, I don't have to do any over summer then. Okay, nice. Um, yeah. what what uh year are you in school? I'm in year twelve. Year twelve. So first year of college. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So you're doing A levels. Yeah. What subjects are you doing? Accounting, sociology, and law. Wow. I didn't know there was a law A-level. Yeah. That's sick. Do you want to be a lawyer? No. No? No, I think I want to do something to do with accounting. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. How come? I don't know. I just, I like the subject. And then I think that's just what I'll do because I don't know what else to do. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, what have you been doing kind of most of quarantine? How have you been handling it? Probably just mostly college work. And right. then I'll take the dogs on a walk and that's like most of it really. That's all I've been doing. Nice. Uh, are these your, your own dogs or, or like walking other people's dogs? Yeah, my dogs. Nice. Are they, are they here with you now? No. Sorry, we're downstairs. I understand. What what breed of dog is it? The two little chihuahuas. Chihuahuas. Yeah. Okay. But like they don't act like chihuahuas at all. They're just like They're not Labradors. They're like a Labrador's personality and a chihuahua. Okay, that's good. I was I was going to yeah. be a bit judgmental there, but um. I know. You've, you've pulled it back from the brink. <laughs> Most people are. Every time I say chihuahuas, it's like oh chihuahuas. They're just like yappy little dogs. I had a Jack Russell, which was pretty yappy, but yeah, <laughs> but also very, very cute. I think if I was going to get a small dog, I'd probably get a, a, a Jack Russell again. Yeah, I think small dogs are better than big dogs because you can just like cuddle them more. Like they come on the sofa too. Well, the big dogs can go on the sofa, but they just destroy everything in their yeah. in their path and take up take up a lot of room on the sofa too. Mm. Yeah. Don't, don't, like, with big dogs, you have to walk them for longer as well. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Hmm. Like, my friend's a Labrador. She has to walk it three times a day. 
Who times? The thing is, I'd love to. I'd love to have a dog, but I just don't have the time to do three times a day. Yeah, it's like, too especially much. if I'm traveling as well. There's no chance. Yeah. But yeah, maybe if I lived with someone who had a dog, mm. then I could like get the benefits of having a dog, but yeah. not having to be there the whole time. Yeah. Um, have you been to a dog a dog cafe before? No, I haven't. Was it, I haven't heard of a dog cafe around here. Only in um, like ca cafes I've heard of. Okay. Where, where, where are you at the moment? I'm in Southport. Southport. Where's that? It's like it's like um, an hour between like Liverpool and Manchester. Okay. It's like on the coast. Mm. So have you been swimming in this time? No, it's the northwest, so it's not nice at all, really, to go swimming. Yeah, my my mum's thinking of uh, maybe like moving somewhere near the sea. But yeah. I don't get that. Like, as a in the UK, surely it's so cold. I know, like our beach. It's not even a beach. It's just a load of like sinking sand and stuff. It's awful. Sinking sand. Yeah. Well, so if you if you accidentally tread in the wrong bit, you'll just drown yeah and sand and mud yeah basically most of the beach you can't use okay that sounds terrifying <laughs> completely you terrifying can, you can kind of tell when it gets to the sink in the sand but it's not a nice beach have you ever been in the sinking sand no okay i haven't even been on the beach that many times just because it's not that good yeah i feel you yeah um i don't know i feel like it'd be quite chill next to the beach mm. no there's just not much to do here i don't think like as soon as i can i just want to move into a city mm. i just prefer cities to a little town have you been to london yeah i love london do you? why yeah. why do you like london i don't know i think i just like because it it's just so busy and there's so many parts to it mm. Like, I've been a few times, and I just, I don't know, I just love it there. It's probably one of my favourite places. Nice. What, what what bits of London do you like? Or, like, um, do you remember any of the names of the bits? Like, um, Central, and like, Carnaby Street, um, mm. Oxford Street, all, like, the main touristy bits in London. Okay. And then I've also been around, like, you know, like, Pimlico and Vauxhall. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I actually used to live in Pimlico. All oh, right. Yeah, it's a, it's a cool area. It's it's, it's yeah. weird because nothing happens in Pimlico. Yeah. Like nothing at all, but it's really easy to get places from there. Yeah. Um. And yeah, I enjoyed living there. If you were to live anywhere in London, where would you live? I'm not sure because I haven't really. I don't think I've seen enough of it. I quite like the idea of living in like one of the luxury flats, but obviously they're really expensive. London rent is so expensive. I know. It is so expensive. But then there's also, I guess, fit, like lots of things to do in London. Like yeah. there's a lot of opportunity as well to yeah. like, make more money as well. I don't know. I like London. Yeah. London's cool. <laughs> um, uh, do you have any like song suggestions for, for next week? Yeah, I have two in between them. But I've got okay. Um, the well we created by Giveon. By Gideon. Giveon. Give. Does someone else suggest something? By them? How, how do you spell that? G I V E O N. Mm -hmm. oh, and what's the song called? World we created. World we created. Um, and what's the second one? It's We Don't Have to Take Our Clothes Off by Ella Eyre. Nice. <laughs> yeah. We don't have to take our clothes off to have a good time. She's so good, Ella Eyre. She is. I feel like she's like one of the best singers in the UK. Like, yeah. top three easily. Yeah. Um, like, when you can next come on tour, can you come mm. to like Liverpool or Manchester? Because mm. I've never actually been to a concert before. Oh, really? Yeah, I've never in... really been interested in going to one because 
I don't really like enough of the songs by anyone, but literally all of your songs are just so good. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, what, you've never been to a live show before? No. Ah, oh, it's so, live shows are sick. Yeah. Like, I think the best way to describe it is, have you ever had a mate who you just, you like the same songs? And so you'll, you'll be yeah. like, yeah, I like that song. And what about that song? Yeah, I like that song as well. I mean, I find it quite like, different tastes in music. Okay, so imagine <laughs> hypothetically, you've got a friend yeah. and you have the same music taste as them, right? Yeah. Imagine that, but there's just, I don't know, a thousand people who all have, like, all yeah. like the same music. And, yeah. it's, and, you're, and everyone knows the words as well. Yeah. And, and you're just, yeah, everyone's singing it That's together. Right. And it's like a slightly different version of a song that you already like. Yeah. Um, because it's live. Yeah. And especially with like speakers as well, you can hear all the frequencies of a song, not just like yeah. the frequencies on a radio or on Spotify. Um, so yeah, I love live music and I, yeah, I would say, please, if, if, uh, if I do announce a, a show in Manchester or Liverpool, please come oh, up. Definitely cool. I think, I think you'll enjoy it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Well, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna say goodbye and try and get one more person on. But um, yeah. it was lovely to talk to you, and you good luck with the chihuahuas and <laughs> uh, with uh, accountancy, sociology, and law. Yeah. And even though you don't want to do law, um, and yeah, I hope to see you at a show soon. I will be there. All right. Lots of love. Yeah. Bye. Bye. All right. Uh, How's your shoulder doing? Give us the shimmy move. We can, I mean, yeah, we're, we're good. Mobility wise, we are good. The shoulder is healed, which means there'll be more shoulder action soon, whatever that means. Um, you should become a sponsor for Nivea. I mean, I'm down. If there's anyone from Nivea watching this now and pronounces Nivea like Nivea, I'm in. Whatever it is, I'm in. I am in. Uh, would you rather be an ostrich or a duck? Ostrich, definitely. An ostrich would fuck up the duck. Like, really kind of give it a hard time. Yeah. I'm, I, I want to be the, the predator, not the prey in this situation. I don't think ducks would stand much of a chance against an ostrich. That being said... Let's uh, let's get the last person on. Uh, I think I said to someone earlier on, I'd get them on. I just can't remember their name. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll have to scroll back. Uh, this is definitely not going to work. Um... They may, they may not even still be here. Fuck it. We'll get someone else on. It could... It could be this person. Who knows? Oh, hello. Hi. Hello. Damn, I did not expect you to pick me. That's all right. Well, how, how are you? What's your name? Uh, I'm fine. I'm Amelia. Hello, Amelia. It wasn't you who messaged earlier, was it? To say... No, it wasn't. Okay. Well, don't worry. It's not your fault, but we have let them down. Yeah. We've really let them down. Um, yeah. When I say we, I mean me. Uh, but yeah, uh, how's it going? Um, it's going great. I have been watching your live stream since you first started them. Oh, wow. Um, so Thanks. I'm really happy to see you. I'm happy to see you too. Thank you very much for uh, for checking in from day one. I think we yeah. uh, started in April, and um, yeah, yeah, we've been slowly kind of uh, easing them out a little bit. But um, I think that's right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I did it every day in April. So thank you for for joining. Then, um, yeah. What's uh, what does life look like at the moment for you? Um, it's so boring. <laughs> Uh, I'm 
just like stuck at home doing nothing at all mm -hmm. um trying to enjoy the weather as much as possible but it's been raining um the past two days or something so that kind of sucks um, where are you in the world uh i'm in sweden ah nice what, whereabouts um the western part <laughs> i have no idea so where where, where, southwest what, southwest sweden what what city, yeah. is, uh, what city is that um like two hours from gothenburg okay whenever i think of gothenburg i think of batman <laughs> it's because of why oh yeah um but i assume that batman is not based on any swedish city no, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, because in, in Gotham, they, they talk about the, the big hierarchies between the rich and the poor. Whereas in Sweden, you, your taxes are so unbelievably high that there is mm -hmm. uh, less of an uh, inequality problem. Um, so I reckon if Batman City could uh, learn a thing or two from Sweden, they probably wouldn't have such a big divide between the rich and the poor. Nope. Yeah. Oh my god! Uh, yeah. So you've been you've been taking it easy in Sweden then? Yeah, I've been like watching The Office on my computer nice. the past day. The UK so, or US? Uh, US. Come on now. I'm sorry to look have you down. Seen the, have you seen the UK one? No, I haven't. Oh, I I must see it. I'm sorry. That's criminal. You, you gotta yeah. watch the UK one. It's so good. Yeah, I I really need to it. take it out. Mm -hmm. It is good. I love Steve Carell. Oh my yeah, god! What's your What's your favorite scene of The Office so far? Um, I mean, there are so many great. Uh, like when um, I think it's Dwight who lit a paper on fire and throws it in like um a bin and then tells everyone everything is fine and just the whole office starts burning basically and <laughs> everyone everyone is just like oh freaking out it's uh oh, chaos look i think when you're the assistant manager it's uh yeah. it's difficult to to you know to predict to accept to admit there we go that's something yeah. that's wrong. especially when you're so powerful in the company mm-hmm so are you with uh, family, friends, by yourself? What's, what's the vibe? Uh, I'm with my family, actually. Um, uh, right now, my dad and my mother and my little brother are home. Um, but I have three other siblings. Mm. Um, and they live, like, in different parts of Sweden. Um, my big brother is actually coming home tonight. So that's oh, great. Nice. Are you looking forward to seeing him? Yeah. Uh, it's been, like, two months now, I think, since the time. So... Okay. I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> nice. That's really nice to hear. Yeah. Um, I think family is really, really important. And I was actually chatting to my friend yesterday about um, family. We, we were watching Fleabag. Have you heard of that show? No, I haven't. It's a, it's a BBC show, uh, like a UK show. Um, and within the story, the, the family that they show is like really, really um, dysfunctional, to say the least. Mm -hmm. And um, we were talking about how in both of our families, you know, there, is, there are some kind of dysfunctional elements, but how, you know, we're so lucky that neither of us, are, neither of our families are as bad as the one in Fleabag. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, and it's, 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 it's interesting, isn't it? How like our families really do shape the way we think about exactly. things in general and mm -hmm. how nice it is to have, you know, family if we do have it or you know very very close friends who we can call family yeah it's like it's amazing how even though every family is so different and every family has their own struggle and you know they can still be there for you and mm. and really help you and push you into doing the things you want or just be there for you when you need a friend or someone to talk to it's yeah, amazing. Are, you, are you close to your family um i wouldn't say i'm like this close mm -hmm. um but i i really appreciate the people i have in my life mm -hmm. and i think it's like even though we might not get along with everyone i think it's important to remember that there are people in your life for a reason like 
they choose to stay for a reason and you have to just, like appreciate that 100 percent, 100 percent. if you think about like all the arguments that you've had with someone and the fact that they're still your friend that, yeah that means a lot and i think mm -hmm. I, i'm like very much appreciating that as i get older and i see the friends which are still there like i yeah. really appreciate kind of loyalty in that respect um because you know a lot a lot of people over time you know when things aren't going so well you don't hear from them and then mm. when things are going well you then do hear from them a lot and yeah. i don't think those are the, the friends which uh are as are as valuable as the ones which are loyal and have stuck by you exactly um are you, are you like at university or are you working or school or? um no i'm in school i go to a music school actually oh cool uh, i'm 16 i'm turning 17 in november um so i'm starting like the second year of high school uh in sweden mm -hmm. um and yeah, i'm kind of looking forward to it actually nice uh, what, do, do you play an instrument or sing or anything like that uh i play piano and i sing i tried to sing but uh -huh. <laughs> um and I actually learned quite a lot during this like first year nice. of high school, so yeah, it's great. Nice. Um, what what kind of stuff are you playing on piano? Um, just like any song I appreciate. Basically, I like to learn things by ear. Um, so I try to like sit down and play along to songs. Basically, nice. um, I'm not very good at reading sheet music. I wish I could, but. Um, I prefer just listening to songs and playing them or watch tutorials on YouTube. Right, and then songs right. that way. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I can't read music at all. Um, mm -hmm. So if someone asked me to play something from sheet music, I would be completely useless. Uh, Same. But if, but if I hear something, I could probably play it. Mm. Um, yeah. And yeah, I don't, I don't know what skill is more impressive because... You know, if someone just put like a bit of music in front of you, like a sheet music thing and, and said, play this. Mm. I think that's pretty cool to like, yeah. to be able to play something on a piece of paper. Exactly. And make it real. Like that's super impressive. Because like sheet music is uh, an old language, basically. Like mm. people can read stuff. People can understand stuff. I don't. And that's very impressive. Mm. Yeah, I agree. Um any songs that you've been like really into recently? Um, I learned uh, the beginning of Everyday Life by Coldplay. Yeah. I think it's yeah, so beautiful. Yeah. It is. Um, yeah. And I don't know, like, what else? Yeah, I think that's what I've been playing recently. But then I have more songs I've learned by ear. Um, a song called Tomorrow's World by Matthew Bellamy, the frontman of Muse. If you've okay. heard of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Sick live. So, Muse is so good live. Yeah, I have um, Matthew here and here. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I have like pictures of my favorite bands and artists. And I apologize because um, you are not here. You are in my apartment on oh, my wow. wall. Oh, uh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have like. I think I have two photos of you. No, I have one uh, from your Instagram where you like post like this um, <laughs> and you're wearing uh, like a blue suit or something. I don't really I, know. I, I, I was at uh, someone's wedding. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Um, that's that's a funny picture to, uh, yeah. to put on a wall, but I appreciate it being on the wall nonetheless. <laughs> yeah, I love it so much. And oh my god, I have this memory um, from when I first installed Twitter, I think. Um, I tweeted this picture of Elvis Guerra, I think. Uh, and I was like, oh my god, when I saw this, I was like, this is Sick Abel. And you retweeted it. It's really weird. Yeah. And I you was like... The same person. Oh my god. Yeah, it's fucking insane. <laughs> I think he has a very similar nationality to me. Yeah. Um... Yeah, very, very similar. Um, so I could explain it. But either mm -hmm. way, 
yeah, I think uh, he could be a clone. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm starting the conspiracy theory there. I'm not going into any more detail, but look into it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Um, I, I think we got to go because it's almost seven o'clock. Um, but yep. do you have a, um, what's it called? A song request um, for next week? Just like anything by John Bellion. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it. Like, I love all of his songs. Just choose one. <laughs> okay, nice. I will do. All right. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you well, so much. Thanks for coming on. And yeah. um, to the person who uh, we rejected for, to get mm -hmm. you to come on, I think it's best if you say sorry. Yeah, sorry. I'm so sorry for stealing the spotlight. <laughs> okay. I, I will accept the apology on... Uh, on their behalf. Oh, damn, it's Anna. Anna. <laughs> I'm still here with love to chat. Sorry. Oh, okay. I'm so we'll, sorry. We'll, I'll definitely get you on next week, I promise. Um, sorry yeah. It's, uh, it's not my fault. It's, um, it's yours, uh, as you know. Um, but, um, yeah, thank you very much for coming on. And uh, thank you so see much. you soon in Sweden. Yeah. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. All right, guys. Once again. Thank you for joining, and um, I'm gonna gonna you know have some dinner. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Hope you guys do the same, and uh, yeah, sending you lots of love. Bye. <laughs>